Hello, my name is Zachariah James Kobos. Welcome to my World Race Instructional video. If you like, oh, no. <laughs> Today I'm gonna tell you what you need for the World Race. Notice I said need and not want, because if you take everything that you want for the World Race, you're going to end up with the weight equivalent of a large adult male, or at least a large dog. So this is everything you need for your main pack. Now don't worry, we still have a day pack we're gonna get to, but for right now, feel free to pause the video and take into account everything that's here. Um, and if you don't have or have items, uh, make a checklist of, of what you have. Main pack, sleeping bag, tent, rain jacket, clothes, towel, blanket, or sheet, multiple compression sacks, duffel bag for airporting, belt if needed, knife, Preferably much smaller than this one. First aid kit. Electronic adapters for around the world. I also highly recommend bringing a small lightweight item with you to remind you of home for when you get homesick. It can be anything from a piece of clothing, a small stuffed animal, a stuffed pet, make sure it's from a real taxidermist, or even a younger sibling. First rule of packing, Pack all your gear in relation to the size of your pack. Now compression sacks are great for your sleeping bag, tent, as well as your clothes because they can take all those items and reduce them to ridiculously small sizes. But if all of the items in your pack are cylindrical and you've got these big cylindrical balls, then you're going to have a lot of airspace that could be better used for other room. So the first thing you're going to pack is your tent. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your tent and put it in your compression sack. Now it is better to stuff rather than to fold because when you fold you're actually making creases in the tent that make it easier for it to tear later on. Now for the poles of your tent you want to take those and put them along the side of your bag so that they're just going to be right next to and towards the bottom of the pack, right next to your um, tent, and then along the side. Now for the mattress pad, and I do recommend an air mattress pad, you're going to want to compress it to where it's completely flat and then fold it up and you can actually just use it on the bottom lining of your bag. So it's just going to line the bottom right down there. If you do have a foam mattress, bring it back <laughs> and get an air mattress because it's bulky, it's going to have to go on the outside of your pack and you look ridiculous with it. Now for your clothes, you're gonna use a compression sack as well, except for you're gonna use it a bit different than you do the sleeping bag or the tent. Now, if you see here, I have a very small amount of clothes. I'm bringing five tops, four bottoms, and about five boxers. So, ladies, that's gonna be different for you. Use two skirts and three dresses or something like that. You'll figure it out. But what we're gonna do is we're going to take all the clothes, you see they've all been folded, and we're gonna lay them flat in the compression sack so that we can press them down as flat as we can possibly make it and lay it on the back of the pack. All right, now we're gonna take our flattened clothes and we're just gonna place them right here on the back. Now, this pack has a front opening um, pocket, which it makes it a lot easier to do this. You can still do it the exact same way with the top loading pack. This actually isn't my pack, it's just one I'm using, for example, so that you can see everything. Keep in mind, I'm not bringing a tent, but you, those of you who have a tent, which should be all of you, are gonna have your tent poles on this side. So you got your um, tent at the bottom, tent poles on this side, and you've got your clothes right on the back. Now you can fit your sleeping bag in a much smaller bag than it actually comes in. And honestly, this entire thing can get in here, and yours, if it's synthetic, will probably need a slightly larger bag. If it's down, you can get it packed pretty tightly. So here we go. So there it is, tiny, packed up. And what we do with this is we fit it right on the other side of our pack. So remember, now we've got tent, tent poles, we have our clothes, and we have the sleeping bag. 
Now, along with your sleeping bag, um, you can also bring a blanket or a sheet. And the reason I would bring that is because most of the countries you're going to are actually going to be pretty warm and you're not going to need your sleeping bag exactly. So for those countries, you can use just a light blanket. This one is actually from a Malaysian airline, um, as well as a sheet because um, it's lightweight and it'll just retain heat. Along with that, when you do need to use your sleeping bag, you're not always going to be clean on the race. There's a lot of nights you're going to be going to bed with a lot of dust around you or with dirt covering your body. And a cool use that these have is you can wrap these around you when you go into your sleeping bag so that the sheet or the blanket gets dirty instead of your sleeping bag, which is a lot harder to clean. And this is super easy. We just lay this right on top of everything. Now I talked about the item that reminds you of home. Well, this one is mine and actually luckily for me, it actually serves a purpose. It's my favorite coat, um, super comfortable, but what I do with this is I can just lay it on top of everything else as well. I'm just gonna lay this right here and it's flat and it's good. So that's gonna keep there. That's everything that you need inside of your pack. So now we can zip up. So if you have a front loading pack that zips up, you can just take this over, if not, you don't have to use this step. So we're just gonna go over. We're gonna zip everything up. There we go. Everything's snug inside of there. And then you can take these and you snap these into all the different sections that you have. I'm not gonna show you all of them. Your pack's gonna be different, um, but most of them are gonna have um, things that you can snap into and tighten so it holds it even better. All right, now for the towel. Many of you are gonna get the dry towel from REI. That's great, it's your preference. Um, I use a half towel that works fine for me. Lasted me 11 months last year. It was white. Um, it wasn't when I finished the race, but it worked. So what I do here is all of your packs at least most of your packs should have a zipper on the top flap um, at the bottom that you can stuff stuff in. So this one goes actually on the pack. If you look, it goes on top of the pack. Um, and you stuff this in and zip that up. Now the other side is going to have a zipped pocket as well. And for that, I like to use my rain jacket because whenever you're hiking around, if you have this on your back and it starts to rain, you can just whip this out without opening anything up in your pack. So we just stuff that in there. Zip. And there you go. So everything we possibly need is in the pack. So after that's done, we take our little snap things. What are these called? I don't even know what these are called. <laughs> All right. When we tighten those up, and you can tighten up the rest of all the other ones as well. Um, you shouldn't need anything to be on the outside of your pack at this point. Everything should be well contained inside. The only other thing you would need um, would be your water bottle that you can bring, but we're gonna show how to use that with your day pack as well. There's your pack. You can pop that on now, see how it feels. Should be ready to go. Cool. <laughs> Hey, 94.7 KUPD, we're going to learn. Now, for your day pack, um, this is going to be your smaller pack, the one that you bring on planes, the one that you use day to day walking around. Um, it's going to carry a lot less stuff, but it's going to carry all um, your important stuff that you want to keep on you at all times. Of course, we're going to bring your Bible. So you take that and you just stuff that somewhere in your pack. Um, I recommend for every squad, for each person, bring one book. Now, generally your squad's gonna be 40 to 50 people, and so with that, you're gonna have 40 or 50 books. So if you wanna make on the Facebook group, um, every person write what book they're bringing so that you don't have uh, two of the same book, then you all have 40 or 50 books that you can pass through and read throughout the year. So I can put that right in front of the Bible. And then also bring various amounts of notebooks for taking notes, learning languages, uh, journaling, that kind of stuff. And with that, you're gonna want a bunch of pens. Pens are gold on the race. You can't always buy pens where you are, so you're gonna want to buy pens, or bring as many pens as you possibly can fit and carry. You're gonna want a hard drive. I recommend at least 750 gig, if not a terabyte because everyone's gonna have pictures, everyone's gonna have movies, everyone's gonna have music that you're gonna wanna pass around and you guys can pass that around uh, the entire race. And so, you're gonna need a lot of data and your computer's probably not gonna have enough. 
Now, essential items, you need your headlamp, because most of the places you have aren't gonna have electricity at night. You need a knife, you don't need a knife this big. Um, you can, generally everyone can just bring- Yeah, you do. <laughs> generally everyone can just bring a pocket knife, and that'll be fine for cutting fruit, safety, all those other things, so. Put that through here. You're gonna need your toothbrush and toothpaste. Um, you can just put that somewhere on the side. If you don't have a container for your toothbrush or your lose it, just take a plastic bottle, put the toothbrush in it, crinkle it down so there's no air, and put the cap back on, and you have a tiny little portable toothbrush holder. Headphones are always good. Multiple sets of headphones are good. This is my uh, this is my hairbrush. It may look like a horse brush, but it's actually for my hair. So duct tape is for a thousand different uses. Bring a roll of duct tape. Um, what is a good thing to do, and what I'm going to do as well, but you take all the duct tape off of the roll. And then um, once it's off that roll, you can just kind of make, fold it back and forth into itself. So you have all the roll of the duct tape without this big giant space waster, as well as some weight that's taken off. Also, deodorant, all your other essentials you can put in your day pack. Computer, you're gonna wanna message everyone back at home. You can put that in your day pack. Very important item you wanna carry, you at, carry with you at all times. That's essentially all you need. It's gonna be a lot lighter than your main pack and you can just carry it around with you all the time. Now for all you ladies out there, a really good place if you're looking to bring your like curling iron or hair dryer or those kind of products, a great place to put those is right over here. Right outside of your pack. Don't bring them. All right, and for shoes, honestly, the only pair of shoes you possibly need are Chacos. With Chacos, you can run, you can walk, you can hike, you can trek through water, you can do just about anything. The only exception would be if you're a runner, then bring a pair of running shoes. Outside of that, there's no reason to bring any extra pairs of shoes. Well, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you had fun. I know I did. Hope you learned a lot. I know I did. Hope you enjoyed everything, I know I did. And just remember, be safe. Have a great time. Just have fun. <laughs> Don't do drugs. <laughs>